Tiffany. I am here with the brand new Fortnite Battle Royale Collection mini action figures. I have so many of these to open up with you guys today and I do want to thank Moose Toys for sending these over. I'm so excited so let's get started. We have two different size packs here to check out today. So there's this single pack and then there's these packs back here. So let's start with some of the single packs. If we flip it around, this is what it looks like. We do have some of the ones, I don't know if this is, I guess they're all the same on the back. And we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna get started. We have so many to check out today, so many of these. So this will just pull it out. Do we have any checklists? Oh, we do have a checklist. Okay, here we go, here we go. So, there are 100 figures to collect. And they're numbered one, two, oh, there's rares there. There's an ultra rare, a limited edition. And then on the back, we have even more, all the way up to 44. Is that is that right? Uh, oh, no, wait, it stops at 16. I do have a bigger checklist here. I have a giant checklist, actually, full of all of the ones there are. These are probably, okay, these are probably the bigger packs right here, I would think, I think. Maybe? And then these are the single packs. Maybe that's what this is. So these will pro these are, maybe? I don't, I'm not sure if that's how it is laid out on this paper, but that's what I'm thinking. Anywho, let's check this out. So we do have a stand. I love that we get a stand. And then we have these accessories and obviously the figure. And right away I can tell how crazy these of these figures are going to be. They're so cool. Look at this, this is so awesome. I'm trying to get it to focus. But um, his arms move, does the head move, the head moves. Not the waist or the legs, but that's really cool. We can pose the arms. And it looks like he uh, has his arm hand in position to hold this possibly. And we also have this accessory here, if I can get it out. And we put this in his hand right here because there's a hole. That's so cool. And then there's pegs in the bottom of his feet so you can kind of put them wherever you want. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, first one down, next one. Oh my gosh. And then they have their names listed here, which is pretty cool, especially if you want to collect them, leave them in the box. That's pretty awesome. So let's see what we have here. So we have the same same kind of deal. We have the stand, we have the weapon, we have the accessory. The stand's the same. This guy comes with a kind of crowbar situation. So let's go ahead and put this in his hand. And then we have this, whoop, this chest that we can, I think, can we put this in his hand? I don't know how this will work because his hand's not exactly positioned that way, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Anyway, he's really cool. His arms move, his head moves. Same same situation, same everything. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this here. It does look like, see the other guy had a hole right in the middle of his hand, so I don't know why he doesn't. Well, let's keep going. We have this one next. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm like really excited for these. They look so good. The detail is so amazing, and I love the little fake, or the accessories, is what I'm trying to say. So the stand, we have the same weapon over here, this this one right here. Um, and then let's cut him out so we can open. Here we go, so his arms move once again. Oh, actually, maybe it'll go on the back. I didn't think of that. Yep, that's where it goes. That's where it goes, we got it, we're good. Good thing I realized that. Anyway, let's grab the weapons out here. And you could also put these, this on the back as well. It does have a peg. I think all, do all of them have pegs? No, just some of them have pegs. Then we can go ahead and put that in his hand. Look at that, he's ready to go. Awesome. Just gonna put him on the stand over here, like so. Okay, moving on to the next one. Oh my goodness. Lots and lots and lots and lots of these to check out. Can't wait to see more come out this year. It's gonna be so cool. Okay, let's cut this one free. This one's a little bit more tricky to cut free. Let's see if I can get it. I think I did. Okay, cool. We got the weapons, and then we got this thing here. We'll put this right on the back right away. 
So here is this figure and his arms move. I think it's just safe to say that all of their arms move and all of their heads move. <laughs> and let's go ahead and put his weapon in his hand. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> come on. There we go, there we go. And then we'll put them on the stand. I really love how they come with stands. You don't have to worry about trying to get them all stand up. All right, next one. Okay, here we go. There's a stand. And then we'll go ahead and clear that off. And then I think we're good. We can uh, just pop these guys out. So this guy, same thing, arms head <laughs> he's he's in a different I would say I would classify him as completely different just simply because of his positioning he's just like going these guys are all stationary they've all been stationary thus far and then he's going he's he's on the move and then we have obviously we have the two actually what would I guess we'll put this on his back over here and then this I'm not sure well I guess you can hold it in this hand over here like this Yes. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and put this on the stand like so. Yeah, look at that. Okay, cool. Cool. Next single pack here. Okay, got it. Get the stand out and free this one. I like this one's weapon the most. Just like the general generic sword. And this one might be a little stuck. There we go. Got it. So here is the guy. We got movable arms, obviously. Let's go ahead and put this in here. And then I guess you can hold this one as well. Yes. Look at that. And then we'll put him on the stand over here. Look at that detail, though. I love it. They, these figures just look amazing. Moving on, <laughs> we have this one. We have this one and two other single packs left, and then we're gonna move on to the bigger packs. I think we've already breezed right on through those. And let's get this stand out. Let's see if I can move his arm up so I can clip him out a little better. And. So I'm, I wasn't paying attention to see if we got any of the rares or whatever. <laughs> Probably we'll uh, check that in a little while. So we do have kind of a duplicate accessory there. And then we have this. Ta-da! This actually is really cool. So the head itself is actually like pretty squishy. It's like a jelly kind of substance. That's so cool. Or like the helmet, I guess, whatever we want to call it. That's really neat. I think this one might be one of my favorites just because of that. Whoopsies. My favorite so far. I don't know who my favorite is. Let's just keep opening and then I'll decide. Let's see what we have next. The ace. Okay. Oh, we got a different colored stand. What did we, what? Wait, what? Oh wait, this is a different stand in general. Oh, it's probably because this one's doing something different. Okay. So, this is interesting. It's very interesting. It's interesting that it's like a different color. It's like a whole different thing. I wonder if this one's a rare or something. So this one we'll just put on the stand like so. And then we have three accessories. Let's get all of these out. Perfect! So this one will go on, the, well I guess we can't put that on the back. Well, let's set that on the floor, <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and give the weapons here. And this one would also be good for the back, but we can't because it's being occupied right now. But this is pretty cool. I like the stand on this one. I love it. All right, we'll set that back there with the two accessories. And we'll open up the last single pack that we have. Okay, we are here. And we have, we're back to the same old stand. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Got the weapon. And let's get 
this guy. Well, actually, let's put this on his back because it's just big. And then we have this here. We'll put in this hand. And then we'll go ahead and put him on the stand. Perfect. These are so cool, you guys. This is so cool. All right, we are moving on to these packs now. I'm going to call them the double packs because there are two in each. So it's good enough for me. So we have the Beef Boss and Grill Sergeant here. It looks like they come with pretty much the same stuff. There's just two of them in each pack this time. So there's a stand for each of them and there's accessories for each of them. We've got two of them. We have a well, weapon slash accessories for each of them. So let's get this out and we'll get the stands out. And we're gonna cut these guys out. These guys are pretty cool. Let's see, oh, I gotta cut the weapon out as well. I like the spatula. Alright, so let's get these all out. We have, well actually let's get this one out first. We have uh, the french fries to put on the back, which is pretty sick. I love it. And then we have the spatula. Let's go ahead and put that on, on his hand. Yes? No? Yep, there we go. And I like how he has a thumbs up. <laughs> That's so cool. I'll go ahead and put him on the stand and then let's get this guy and his little accessories there. We have a tomato, it looks like. Okay, he has the hole in his hand, so it looks like he can like throw the tomato, which is like my favorite. Um, and then we have, the weapon doesn't really wanna, I'm just gonna put it in his hand, or on his back, sorry. And then we'll put him on the stand, like so. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, we have a couple more packs here. Let's open this one up next. pretty much in there. Uh, there we go. Okay. We have a briefcase. We got the weapons. We got this. I think this is a llama. If I can get it out. I think, and then he's already holding one, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get all of these guys out. Oh. So, you, I don't remember who went with which accessories, that's okay, you guys can mix and match. So there's this guy. And again, I mean, I haven't been mentioning it, but their arms move and all of that fun stuff. And then we have this guy. Let's go ahead and put, I guess he can hold, actually let's put the, the this in his back. And then he can have the same weapon, I think they're pretty much the same. Can't really tell. Yeah, I think they are the same. Anyway, that was that duo, and then they have the llama and then this weapon. So moving on, we have this pack. This one looks fun. Let's get it. So we have the stand. And then let's get the people out of here. Maybe. Possibly. And let's clip the weapons out of here. What in the world? <laughs> there we go. I got it. So now let's get them all out. Including the accessories. And we have... Oh, this one looks so intricate. Seriously. Look at that. I love the pumpkin head. And then we have room on the, or space on the back for an accessory. So let's go ahead and put this there. Look at that. Super sick. And then we have a free hand here to hold a weapon. And then we have this guy. Hello. Pretty cool. And then there's a free space on the back. So we'll put that there. And then we have this weapon. Yes! Super cool! All right, we have one more pack left. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. These are such cool figures. I'm a little bummed, though, that we are now out of packs to open after we open this one. 
Okay, here we go. So we have the stands. Probably, and I will double check on the rarities before I end this video, I hope. If I remember, <laughs> I keep telling myself, remember to check. Remember, remember, remember. Okay, so I got that, and let's cut this guy out of here and check him out. So, first up, this one's really cool. I like how the arms still move even though they're teeny tiny. And then, does the waist move? It looked like it did for a second. It does not. Go ahead and put this one on the stand. So this one's just much more tiny and intricate. I'm gonna go ahead and put this hat on the back here. Or what? Or not a hat, well it's a hat filled with firecrackers, so fireworks. And then we have a first aid kit. <laughs> and then we have this one here put that there and I um, guess we'll uh, put this in his hand right here a little difficult to kind of see what's going on there we go and then if he holds it like this looks like he's ready let's just put him back on the stand there we go look at that these figures are so cool Upon further inspection, we actually did get a few rares. So the little like red, white, and blue 4th of July was what I'm calling it set with this one and that one over there were, they were both rares. And then this one over here is an ultra rare as I expected. I knew it was different in some way. <laughs> and then I think, do we have one more? Yeah, this guy right here, uh, Backbone, he's an ultra rare as well. So that was really cool that we found some rare slash ultra rares and the rest of them I guess were technically commons. You'll have to leave me a comment down below and let me know which of the figures we opened up today is your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.